Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay. Um, this is my first YouTube video ever, so please don't judge me. But feel free to comment below because um, any suggestions that you guys have to make my future videos better, I would really appreciate it. I'm not here to do makeup tutorial or do funny videos or teach you how to cook or anything like that. Um, I'm here to create this channel so that I can upload my honest reviews and honest opinions on our daily necessities that we use in life. I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I do hair, I do nails, and I do waxing. Um, this video today will be about my lotion routine that I do every single day. The products that I use, what I use it for, where to get it, and the cost of it. So the first one will be my ultimate favorite, I Cannot Live Without. Um, I've been using this for about 20 years now. It's called Jergens, and they do have different kinds of Jergens. The only one that I buy is age-defying because it has vitamins A, E, and C in it. It is the ultimate weapon for silky, smooth, soft skin. I use it um, right after the shower, all over my body, and my face. It is, um, it is very lightweight, so it does not clog my pores, and it keeps my face moisturized, and um, you can't see the flaky, dry skin on my face. So this, you can get it at CVS or Walgreens or Target. The only place I go to um, is Walmart because... This bottle is about 16.8 ounce. It's $4.98. They always have it in stock. Sometimes they do run out of stock, but they tend to um, put it back in stock pretty fast. So this is really good. The next thing I recommend is Curel. Um, this is Ultra Healing Curel. I sometimes, when the weather is really dry in the winter, I will mix this with Jergens to put it all over my body. Um, this is more of a thicker uh, texture, so I do not put this on my face. I don't recommend to put it on my face because it will clog the pores. But it is very good for um, very dry skin. My skin is very sensitive, so I've used products um, from... Chanel, from Lancome, from Giorgio Armani, Bobbi Brown, MAC, uh, Neutrogena, Maybelline, Queen of Fear, I mean, you name it. But they always seem to um, cause me to have breakouts or um, dry up my skin or cause me to have blemishes. So um, after that, I, I, I've tried so many products and believe me, the products that I recommend are very... Um, effective and very least expensive. Um, I mean, things that are expensive is not always good. It all depends on how your skin is and how your body takes it. But Curel, um, it also has these two other products that I recommend that I currently don't have with me because I already finished it. I need to go get some more. But um, uh, one is for your hands, and one is for your heels. You can also get it at Walmart. It comes in this little tube. It's about $5 each. Um, the ones for your hands, I recommend it for anyone that washes their hand a lot um, at their job. Use a lot of hand sanitizer because when you put it on, it dries pretty fast. It um, And when you wash your hands, it doesn't come off that much, so it locks in your moisture, preventing you from having uh, cracked cuticles or dry fingernails or dry hands that much, because I know those that can hurt. I mean, it happens to me before. And the, the second one is for your heels. Um, I use that in the winter. I use that in the summer. Whenever I wear heels, my, my heels would crack, and it gets really dry and crispy. So um, I use it after the shower also, or when I jump on my bed and before I go to sleep, it dries really quickly. And one thing everyone um, think is that whenever you put 
lotion or any type of moisturizer on your feet, you need to put socks on. Um, I want to tell you to not do that because when you put the socks on, the socks will soak up any type of um, products you put on your feet. So the best thing to do is put it on before you go to sleep, wait 5 or 10 minutes, it dries, and then go to sleep. Just don't put any socks on. A lot of people use Vaseline. Vaseline is good also, but um, Purell is very good for uh, your feet. This bottle here, the Ultra Healing Bottle, this is recommended for all over your body, and it is $8.88. The third and last thing I recommend is my new favorite, coconut oil. It does not have to be this brand. It can be any brand of coconut oil. You can find it at any grocery store. You can start out with a smaller jar. It's about $7. It will last you a very, very, very long time. Um, it is good for cooking because it has um, zero cholesterol and um, what else is in here? Uh, zero fat, gluten free. But I use it for my skin, I use it for my cheeks. I use it all over my body. I use it on my most dry area of my body. I use it on my tattoos and on my hair. So the inside is very hard. It's like a, a candle looking like, but then you just gotta rub it with your fingers and then you can see the oil come out. See it? And that, even though it's coconut oil, it when you put it on your skin, it does not seem oily at all. It's, it's just so nice and it smells so good. I love the coconut smell. I mean, it smells like any type of coconut candy or food it doesn't smell like oil at all so I really recommend this and it will last you for so long all right and that is it for my three secret re weapon for my um, silky soft skin um, I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know what you think my next video will probably be um, tomorrow or in the next few days or if I'm busy I can only do like one video a week but my next video will probably be about um, hair care or exfoliating okay uh, well thank you guys for watching bye